Thinking about moving to North Carolina? Want to call the Tar Heel State home? Today, I'm going to give you 10 things you should know about before you make that move or even start thinking about it. North Carolina is a great southern state with mountains, great cities, and 300 miles of amazing Atlantic coastline. They're known for having great food, drink, and people. In the last 20 years, North Carolina has gained a lot of popularity. Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, and Asheville kind of leading the charge in their popularity, and that's where most of the people are moving to. What you're gonna get in this video is things you should know before you make that move, both good and bad things. At the end of the video, leave me a comment. And let me know if anything stuck out to you that might make you change your mind about North Carolina. Or if you're from the Tar Heel State, let me know if I missed any or there's anything you'd like to add to it. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, the transplants. North Carolina has sort of turned into a tech job hotspot area. This has led to a steady stream of out-of-state millennials showing up in the Tar Heel State looking for better opportunities. And it's not just like in Charlotte. Most of their bigger cities have started attracting tech companies and tech workers in recent years. They're doing much better than a lot of other states in this department. If you're in this situation, there's a couple reasons you should choose North Carolina over some of these other states. Number one, the locals aren't too upset about it. I mean, I'm sure you're going to find some that have an axe to grind with people moving to their state, there's always that 10%. But what I've seen from North Carolinans, they're not like that. This is the South. Being nice and decent to people is kind of in their blood. The second thing is buying a house. If you're coming from someplace like New York, DC, California, the prices in North Carolina, even in their big cities, is relatively low compared to a lot of other states. Are they the cheapest? No. Are they almost half price of California, New York, and Washington, DC? Absolutely they are. Number nine, the health care. If you're in poor health or maybe a little bit older and have some issues you may need help with, this is one of the best states to choose. Also, if you work in health care, North Carolina is a great state. They have many great hospitals and facilities, but two of their main ones are Duke University Hospital in Durham. It's considered one of the highest performing facilities in the nation, providing nine different procedures and is nationally ranked in 10 pediatric specialties and various adult specialties. Then you have the University of North Carolina in Chapel. Apple Hill. That's ranked number two in the state and it provides pretty much the same stuff, just not as many pediatric or adult specialties. Yeah, so if you're retired and poor health, there's a lot worse states you could move to. Number eight, a reasonable cost of living. North Carolina is not that expensive, especially when you consider it's a very attractive state to move to. I mean, it's got coastlines, it's got beautiful mountains, beautiful land, thriving cities. It's a good place to live and it's still not terribly expensive. Like I said in the last video, I could give you all the numbers, you know, how much the average energy bill is and it's just all over the map and things are changing rapidly right now because of the economy we're in currently. So I'm not gonna get all into it, but I'll tell you this, they are ranked 12th or 14th, depending on how you look at it when it comes to cost of living. Different organizations have different ranking systems. But compared to the average, let's say $100, in North Carolina, to buy $100 worth of stuff, it costs you $90.60. That's very much a broad brush way of looking at it. But just know that the cost of living in North Carolina is a lot cheaper than most states. When it comes to long-term fiscal stability, the state itself is ranked fifth in the nation. If you want to live in a cheaper state than North Carolina, you got to move to places like Indiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia is a little bit cheaper. Nebraska, Ohio, and Arkansas are a little bit cheaper. Everyone else is right around the same thing or a lot more expensive. Number seven, public transportation sucks. Now we just talked about this one in Arizona. Arizona is very much a car type state. North Carolina is pretty close to the same thing. Outside of their major metro areas, and normally it's just downtown, their public transportation offerings are very limited. And Charlotte's their best city when it comes to public transportation. If you look at the 25 major metro areas in the United States and rank them by their public transportation, Charlotte is 24th. So you're gonna need a car just to about any place you move to in North Carolina. For some of you, that's great. That's not a big deal. Some people don't want to use public transportation. If you're one of those people that rely on public transportation, don't expect much from North Carolina. Number six, 
Fayetteville sucks. Yeah, there's no getting around it. Fayetteville just blows. It's a horrible place to live, horrible place to visit. Fayetteville has a crime rate that is 87% above the national average, and their violent crime rate is 152% above the national average. The median household income in Fayetteville is $43,882. That was at the end of 2021. That was the average. That's 21% lower than the national average. The good news is they got a pretty low cost of living, and their median home value is 31% lower than the national average. Fayetteville is right outside the main gate of Fort Bragg. North Carolina, which, yeah, been there too many times. If you do want to move to a metro area in North Carolina, avoid Fayetteville. Number five, plenty of golf courses and other sporting events. North Carolina is a very sports orientated state. A lot of these people lose their freaking mind over college basketball here too. And on top of that, they got the Carolina Panthers in the NFL. They got the Carolina Hurricanes in the NHL. They got the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA. I don't follow the NBA, but it seems like every time I turn around, some team has left the city. So the Hornets could be gone in a year or two for all I know. I mean, the current Charlotte Hornets started in 2014. Now there was the Charlotte Hornets there before from 1988 to 2002 and then they moved like New Orleans and Oklahoma City at one point they were the Bobcats too weird but back to golf it is really hard to drive for like 20 minutes without passing a golf course in North Carolina if you're big into golf you'll be able to play year round if you're a retiree this is big I mean everyone likes golf well I shouldn't say everyone most people like golf and it seems to be something very popular when you retire and if that's your thing North Carolina is not a bad choice. Beautiful, and they got a lot of golf courses. Number four, the weather. North Carolina is a southern state, so you should expect some really hot, humid summers. I've been in the south far too much, and they get rough. They say you get acclimated to it or used to this weather. I never did. I normally stand around in the summer in the shade, having daydreams about AC and losing weight. Now, the mountain areas get some snow like most mountain areas do in this country, and the lower part of the state will get very little snow with the occasional big snowstorm that comes through. In January of 2014, they got hit really bad. But most years, unless you're moving to the mountains, you can forget about shoveling snow or putting your snow tires on or chains. You might as well sell that stuff and use the proceeds to buy shorts and tank tops. You'll need those every single year. Maybe some Weight Watchers food. You're not going to need that extra insulation most years here. The good news is the weather before and after summer is pretty mild until hurricane season hits. Then it can get bad. They've had some pretty bad hurricanes over the years. I mean, Florida gets way worse than other states do, but North Carolina has been hit pretty hard with some serious hurricanes over the years. Hurricane Florence in September of 2018, Hurricane Floyd in September of 1999, Hurricane Fran in 1996, Hurricane Donna in 1960. All these things happen in September. So plan your vacation around the early to mid part of September and you might be able to dodge a bullet there. But if you ask anyone from North Carolina, they'll tell you that the best season in North Carolina is spring, maybe fall. Winter gets a little crazy and summer's just a little too hot. Number three, taxes. North Carolina has a little bit higher taxes than other states. They're not the worst, but they're up there. North Carolina is actually ranked as the 19th most taxed state in the United States. On average, state and municipal taxes will cost you about 9.8% of your yearly income. North Carolina also has a good size sales tax. Their combined rate is 6.97%. The state tax rate is 4.75%. Then the average local tax is 2.22%. The good news is per Prescription medicine, groceries, and gasoline are all tax exempt in North Carolina. Number two, not a great state to be an employee. Every year, Oxfam does a study where they rank all the states best to worst for American workers. And once again, North Carolina came in dead last. The study kind of shows where they rank for different categories. The first one is wages. What's their wage score? They came in second from the bottom on that one, only being beat by South Carolina. The next thing is the worker protection score, where they tied for the bottom of the barrel with Georgia. And again, tying Georgia for dead last with right to organize. Basically, what that says is, they don't have a laws protecting union organization, things like that. And they're ranked 12th when it comes to worker safety. That one's from another study, not the Oxfam one. But yeah, the absolute worst places to be a worker when it comes to worker safety is Mississippi, Louisiana, Florida, Arkansas, and Alabama. In those states, you could remove asbestos with like a Halloween mask. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about the list in the comment section below. All right, on to number one. 
And number one, outdoors. North Carolina has some of the best outdoor activities you could do. We talked about golf earlier, different festivals, music festivals, drinking festivals, whatever you want to do. It's going to be outdoors along with hiking. You got the outer banks, the ocean, the coastline. It is amazing to be outdoors in North Carolina most of the year. And when you're outdoors, most of the time in North Carolina, it includes a barbecue. North Carolina is one of the best states when it comes to barbecue. I would say they're definitely in the top four. The Appalachian Mountains make up a majority of North Carolina's territory, and this gives you hundreds of miles of hiking trails, mountain biking, horseback riding, all the good stuff to do outdoors here. North Carolina is a great state to get pictures for your Instagram. Probably one of the top five in that category too. Honestly, think North Carolina is often overlooked in a lot of different categories. I don't think people see it as good of a state that it actually is. What do you think about North Carolina? Are you from there? Have you visited? What are your thoughts on North Carolina? I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. All right, everyone, that's today's video. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.